Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with a really special edition of Conversation Corner. I wanted to show something, another side of me that most people don't know, is that I do cook. I cook a lot, and I've cooked for years. One of my main goals in life and intentions that I've set many, many moons ago is to have my own eatery, uh, my own restaurant of some sorts, and it'll be of uh, different dishes that I just made and created over the years. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, where you have to go to school and be degreed to have, but... One of the things I was thinking about is uh, I grill a lot. So I said, why not film it? And what I'll do is in this section of the or this particular video, what I'll do is is I'll just cut it in sections and give you an idea of just a quicker way, in my opinion, of how to grill. Now, I'm not a grill master. I'm not trying to compete against anybody else. I'm not telling you how to do it your way. I'm just saying this is what I do. And since I've been cooking for the last 30 plus years, it seems to work. And I've raised children, family members, cooked for friends, and nobody's come, very few complaints, I should say. So with that, um, I'm going to start off. You always have to have your music. So mm -hmm. I got my music blasting. Right, it's a nice day. Even though I'll cook in the wintertime, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I have my grill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it for a second. And then I'm going to show you the initial stages of what I do. So we're going to take you through the entire process from a dirty grill all the way to finished food on the table. So with that, Conversation Corner, Thomas Amal. Conversation Corner, Thomas Amal, part. Those. Barbecue on, on the west side. Talk to me. What I have now, which is the next part, is I have my lighter fluid. I have my matches. I know a lot of people use the uh, long, like lighter and stuff like that, but they just always seem to run out of, of the uh, the butane or whatever it is to make the fire come up faster. I have my charcoal. I obviously have my grill. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to start off by taking the, uh, the grill off, the actual rack off, and then I set the charcoal in a certain way, which I, it helps me or I think is best for the uh, fire, not only to ignite, but to burn. Because I usually like the fire to burn to where all of the charcoal turn basically almost white. And that means that they get to a certain temperature and that they'll maintain that temperature for long periods of time. And it, it'll help for, depending on what you're cooking. Um, today we'll be cooking turkey burgers. Uh, I forgot the hot dogs, my bad. Turkey burgers, chicken wings, and some chicken breast. That's what we're rolling with today. I might throw a little jerk chicken on the chicken breast. We'll see how I'm feeling. But for now, let's start off. I usually have a generic glove, it doesn't matter to me. And I take the grill off, and, and you'll see um, as I go why I do it this way and make life a little bit easier for me. I take the charcoal. Now mind you, there is some charcoal already in here, but I like using new charcoal along with old. I don't put a whole lot in there, but just enough, you know, and one of the things that I think people have to realize is when you start a fire, it's all, in my opinion, it's best that you make like a mountain, like a pyramid type, and then you set it from there. And then it'll come down and go out. And then once the flames are going and really rolling, then you can spread them out a little bit more. But, you know, let me give it a couple more pieces. I'm throwing them all down the damn street. Okay. And I'll say peace to my cameraman, Brother Tariq. Peace, y'all. What's up? Okay, we're getting them in here. And like I said, can you see this? Mm -hmm. I'm putting them in like a, uh, almost like a mountain light. Mm. You know, and I usually put the newer ones in so I can get those to burn. And as you see, the older charcoal, because see, I don't waste charcoal. I will use it until it disintegrates into the ashes, and then we just keep on going. So that's one thing I don't do. Other, everybody is different. That's just not. I, as I'm not wasting. Okay, so I'm gonna do this really quickly. Okay. You know, and if you do it right, it'll sit there, and everything will go fine. I pull out my charcoal lighter fluid, and I I, I mean I douse it real good. You know, I'm not I'm not giving it a bath. Or, or having the dog on stuff floating, but I, I make sure that they are wet, and because you want them to stay a certain way, so I do that. 
and then I get the lighter fluid completely out the way. Now, being that I've been doing this for a long time, you know, I strongly suggest that you probably want to start off using the uh, lighter uh, handle, but I uh, holder. Uh, but I've been doing this for a while, and being that I'm in Chicago, it is windy, so it, sometimes it does take a couple of uh, of matches to get it to go, because it'll blow up really fast. Like I said, I'm used to it, so give me a second. Now, as you see, it's going to blow up really quickly, and that flame will come. <laughs> if you're looking at the flame, you see, you know, you get everything away from it, and you see it's there. Uh, you see the mountain. You'll see how it's spread around everything, and what, this is, what I do now is I put the grill back on it, the grill that was on there, and then you'll see why. So with that, part two is over. Peace. See you. Okay, we're back. Now it's time to get ready to put the food. I've already seasoned it, you know, patted up the patty, cut up the chicken breast. So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have some that I regularly season, you know, um, and season as your choice. It's up to you, but I also have some, um, some wings that I put some jerk seasoning on as well as a couple of the chicken breasts that I have some jerk uh, seasoning on. I have the turkey burgers. Um, this is what I like. I like to see the smoke. There's nothing on the grill right now, but this is what I like. I usually, after so long, when the, the coals start to turn white, I put the lid back on because what it does is it kind of calms the uh, coals down just a little bit, so it turns down the temperature so it doesn't get overly hot. Now we're going to go ahead, open this up. Most of them have a thing on the side where you can put them to the side, and if you come look at the coals, you can see they're almost every last one of them are white. They're that grayish color. That means that um, they are really hot. You know, you can feel the heat way up here. So this is good. I'm going to go ahead. Now, I'm not going to put everything on here, of course, because it's too much. The grill is not big enough. Um, I'm one of those that I only use one thing, you know, and I don't even do it every time. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting them in. Some of the things I put in just, just because there's no rhyme or reason why I do it. That's what you want to hear. You hear that sizzling sound? That means the grill is good enough. It's ready to go. You might, I might as well put all of the turkey burgers on. I usually put the turkey burgers on the edges. Reason being is, you know, even though turkey burgers don't uh, uh, burn, you know, what they will do is they can get dry. And that's why I keep them out of the main part of the uh, heat, which is in the middle. Okay, so here's some uh, the wings. They take a little longer, so I can play with them. You know, I'm going to go a little bit faster. You know, because uh, being that we outside, we got flies galore. What I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the uh, the regular season stuff on first. I might be able to fill the whole grill with that. Uh-oh. Uh, fill the whole grill up with that and then come back uh, and do the jerk later. Are you watching me? Yes. These are the chicken breast seasoned, regularly seasoned. You know, I like to keep those nice and damp because they stay juicy. And I, I personally like them when they're a little bit thinner because they seem to cook better. They cook a little bit faster, but they also keep the flavoring and the taste and all that kind of stuff. So let me miss, move this over. This was my cut back in the day. I'm gonna get this out of here. That was a big boy right there. And I'm gonna put this last regular chicken breast on here. And put it right in that spot right there. Voila. Turkey burger, chicken breast. Turkey burger, chicken breast, uh, mm -hmm. chicken wing. Um, and I think we only started this like 20, 25 minutes ago. So you can do this really quickly. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cover it up because I like to keep it covered. 
I like them to cook at a decent speed, but not overly hot. I don't like them burnt, but I like them really cooked. Some people like them, um, you know, just done. I like my stuff well done. So I'm going to go back, cover this up. I forgot my towel so I can wipe my hands. I usually have one. Of course, the bees are out trying to get with it. So, I'm going to take this back on the inside, put it in the refrigerator, or put it on the counter and have it sit there. I'll be back and talk to you in a minute. Man, it's starting to get warm out here in the shop. It's about 85 degrees outside. Talk to you. Peace. This is how we take some of the, the pressure off. Oh, can you believe that? <laughs> My phone actually rang through one of the best songs around. Out of all... Hold on, I'm gonna put you on pause. This is my middle son, he just don't know. <laughs> my bad, we back. The phone rang. Can you believe that? And this is one of my cuts too. As you see, this is one of the uh, songs, if you've been paying attention to my blogs, I use this a lot because this is a big, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, motivational song. How, one of the things that we do to uh, waste time while the food is cooking. You're going to go the Poppy sitting there chilling. Say peace, Poppy. And then we get it down. Come on back with it. Uh. Don't make me skip on it. Y'all ain't ready for that. That's a little bit too old for y'all. Then I'll bring it back. Oh, Lord, please. And then we could throw BVD into it, but see, he like all this little new stuff that they be doing. This stuff, I don't know what all of that is. It's, it's not dancing to me. He don't even look like he moving, if you ask me. Look like he riding a bike or something like that. But this is the cut. This, like I said, we taking just a little bit of time. Uh, 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 uh. Like Soul Train. Ooh. Okay. We will talk to you. We will be right back. Like I said, this is the silly time when the food is just cooking and you don't want to go in the house and you just want to sit. You don't want to do any work, but you just want to act a fool. So this is what we do. So talk to you. Conversation Corner. Tariq Amal. Poppy. Chilling. Amal. Remember, think first. Be smart. Be smart. Think first. We're coming right back at you so we can show you. Uh... Uh, before we turn over the, so we can turn over the chicken peace Everybody, this is Thomas Amal. We're back. I don't even know what part this is or whatever the case is but part five it, Part five. Yes, Four or five whatever the case is, but the chicken has been rolling It's been about 20 minutes 30 minutes now now. It's time to turn them see I'm not like everybody else I can turn them 50 times. It doesn't matter to me, but the fire started to broom back up I took this, the top off, but you can see it's starting to cook. This is what I'm talking about um, I'm going to be able to dye it down some, but look at that golden brown uh, color as the turkey burger. Um, I keep them a little bit fat because that means that it's still some juice in there, and I don't want them to dry out. So as I turn them over, you can see one side, it's still like that, it's a, a darker, palish color, mm -hmm. but you can still see they're being cooked, you know. So that's, that kind of thing I don't worry about. I'll go ahead and turn them. And, and you have to remember also that chicken wings may last to take a little longer than the turkey burgers will. The chicken breasts, being that they're thinner, they may cook a little bit quicker. Okay, and oh, look at that. Uh, I love that golden brown look. See that right there? That's some chicken right there, Bobby. Hold on, turning them all over. This right here, we might be fighting like this when it's uh, over. As you see, the flame is getting a little bit warmer. And it's starting to blow up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is hurry up. I know a lot of cats, they pour water and they do all of that. See, I don't go through all of that. I just turn the grill a little bit so something doesn't get uh, overly burned or cooked. Throw it back on here. Put my top on here. And when it gets really hot like it was, this is what this is for. I, I adjust this. If you come a little closer, you can see that there are holes on the top. That's what allows the smoke to come in. It's holes on the bottom, and it keeps that air flowing through. But when it gets really hot like that, I just 
you know, uh, half up a little bit and close it just a little bit so the heat will die down some. So with that, we probably have another 15, 20 minutes. They are cooking really well. They're going to flow that I particular, I really like. And, you know, I might add a couple of things. I don't even really feel like cooking anything else. I could have made potato salad. You know, I could have made just like a picnic thing, baked beans and all that. We have chips, partner. So we going with the chips. We can make a tur uh, turkey burger <laughs> with some cheese on here. I got some salad in there, and we are good. I'm not going crazy today. So with that, talk to you in a few minutes. Peace. I'm getting back to the, this is it. I'm going to throw a couple of pieces of cheese, but I, first I want you to see the final result of the turkey burgers and see how gr golden brown they are. You see that? That's a, And see, I don't throw water and stuff all on them because I'm one of those that believes that if, if you do it right, and see, I'm kind of cheap with the cheese, so if somebody wants extra cheese, you have to get it yourself. But if they want it done right, if you know what you're doing, you don't have to sit and squirt water all on them. They'll be just nice and juicy as they want to be. Look at these chicken breasts. Man, I'm about to tear these up, bruh. Might throw some cheese on them myself. But with that, you see how golden brown the wings have become? And you all seen them when I put them on here. You saw that they were new, so it's not like somebody else cooked them for me. This is how we do. Look at that. These will be perfect. They're just going to fall right on off. And we will be done in a couple seconds. I'm going to go... Uh, I'll be right back. Tariq is going to keep it on there. I'll be right back. I got to go get the container so we can get the food. That's right. I hope your people know that this is really... Okay, now I'm gonna start putting the food out, pulling it out and putting it on here. Nice golden brown wings. Uh, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, yes. Uh, Chicken breast. I'm about to bust this so badly. <laughs> I'm right here. I might not even get to the kitchen with it. Uh huh. Look at that. That's three of them. Uh, this one I could probably cook a little longer, even though I know certain people that live in my household like them to be, you know, a little bit, like, not all the way well done like I do. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead. Put that on. Here's uh, this. Like I said, I'm not big at using spatulas and stuff like that. It just, I only need one piece of equipment, and I'm good. You know, I, I used to have a have all these spatulas and have all kind of other stuff sitting over here and they, honestly they just got in my way so hold on two seconds i'll put this up because i have remember i had the jerk chicken i still gotta put on come here hands off. Now I got the jerk chicken with the jerk seasoning. Listen to that. Don't that sound good? Yes. It does. Thank you. And it's spicy too. Man. Shoot, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I might just eat all of this. <laughs> I don't think none of y'all did anything. Mm. Uh, and I threw down on a, uh, just a few chicken wings so y'all get to cook on your own. You know, being at the grill is really revved up and it's good to go you know this won't take long at all as far as getting these guys taken care of so you know this is how we roll this is how we play it on the west side of chicago um those two wings will be done in a couple of seconds i'll turn them over get them out of there and then within about 20 25 minutes this will be done like i said the 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 fire is really going good the coals are doing really well um so this is good this is how we roll talk to you in a minute peace Peace. This is it. I just completed. I, actually, I think I have a couple more wings uh, for the jerk side that are they'll be done any second. But this is what we did. Excuse the cheese. We had a certain person that was digging in the cheese on the burgers. But 
this is the final result of what we started what less than well less than two hours ago um, this is how I roll if you have any questions click the link below make a comment on this video let me know what you think we about to grow up jerk chicken breast jerk chicken wings regularly seasoned chicken wings and chicken breast and turkey burgers with cheese we're gonna go in and get some salad get some chips and act a fool talk to you in a minute thanks again and I might uh, depending on the response I might do a couple of other things inside the house to show you how we get down here on the west side of Chicago Thomas and Mall conversation corner remember be smart think first think first be smart talk to you soon peace